The credit crunch is just a new word for the cyclical economic sequence of boom and bust, previously called the recession. The credit crunch started when banks in the US started lending money to unreliable borrowers in the subprime market. Then the interest rates rose and borrowers could no longer afford to make repayments, meaning the banks lost millions, which has now led to banks not lending each other money, making it harder for consumers to secure a loan. In this short film we'll be finding out what a variety of business owners in different industries have to say about the credit crunch and how it's affecting their business. A local well-renowned butcher, a builder and a local pub owner. At first it wasn't too drastic, I noticed a bit of change in the town with uh, Woolworths down the road closing, we thought it was due to that and then all of a sudden over the course of the last three weeks we have seen a dip in the trade and things like that because people are being a lot more tighter with the money because they haven't got it to spend and they find that seeing a lot more people around trying to use the supermarkets because they are a little bit cheaper than ourselves which is uh, a bit of a struggle at the moment. A lot of people are going out of business now so when there's a bit of an upturn in a year or so's time, as there will be, then that's when everybody wants stuff and it's not available, that's when the prices go. It's like the labour prices, suddenly the guys aren't paying 150 quid a day or want 200 a day. There'll be fewer guys, they'll be all in demand and they'll say, well, if you're not prepared to pay it, somebody else will. Materials, you want plasterboard instead of being four pound a sheet, it'll be six pound a sheet. Bricks will go up from three, two, three hundred pounds a thousand to four, five hundred pounds a thousand, the whole lot, yeah. Wouldn't it? That's yeah. what's happened. Yeah. Then, then inflation. That's when the houses kick off again, you see. Mm. Because there's more media around, you'll always get media hype up everything because that's what sells newspapers. End of story, like they'll do what they can to sell. And if that means talking bollock and then printing the smallest apology the next day, then they'll do it because they can get away with it. When it first came out, everywhere you looked, everyone was being told, oh, there's a recession, there's a recession. Paper every day, front page, news got out when you got home. It was pushing out in everyone's faces a bit too much, I thought, myself to start off with. There is no credit crunch. Bottom line of it is, because of the Labour government, too many people for too long before that they can literally take on a business, open the doors and do f call, and everyone comes to lose it. Now, all, basically, all that's happened is all of a sudden, people don't get that anymore because people's belts got slightly tighter. So, People aren't going just to everywhere just because they're there. They, they're only going to places that actually give a about people, which is why the likes of the, um, the RSREs closed altogether because they basically it, it was working men, old man's working men's club and they, they just didn't care. They were left in the last century. New Inn's going to close because they don't care. They just bought a re new refurb and opened the door and that's it. Anchor's going to close because they ain't got no beer. They don't care. Sorry, it's no critical. Everyone's focused on the negative points about the credit crunch, but think about it a second. There are positives. Many large corporations have really taken off during the recovery periods following these recessions. For example, McDonald's as a global corporation started around the 1953 recession that only lasted about a year but cost the US economy around $56 billion. However, from this negative, McDonald's was born and now has around 31,000 stores and employs nearly one and a half million people worldwide. This creates a little bit of economic stability for everyone around the world. This also allows small businesses to grow and new ones to start. This is because of the gap left in the economy by closing companies. This means there is a steady and cyclical change in the economy. More importantly in the credit crunch, People are feeling grateful for what they already have instead of continuously purchasing new things, which allows people to focus on what's really important, family, friends, happiness and health.
From watching this film, I hope that you can take something away from it. I believe that from making it, I have come to a personal conclusion on the credit crunch. I believe that the credit crunch has nothing to be worried about, and that as an individual and a community, it only makes us stronger and wiser. I believe that we should not place all of our trust in the media, as they are more focused on sales and viewers than getting the truth out there. I also believe that the credit crunch creates a certain amount of fairness in the economy by allowing new businesses to open in the place of others that closed during the recession. I also believe at the end of the day, you have to have gratitude for what you have. So just take a minute to think about your life overall and really focus on what you have and what you enjoy. Then just remember that there are lots of people in the world that are worse off than you and me. Thank you.